everyone, my name is Sylvia Navas and today we're back with another Wellness Insight. Today we're going to be showing you how to make homemade Play-Doh with ingredients that you probably already have in your own kitchen. So one of the best things about making homemade Play-Doh is that one, it's very inexpensive, but also it keeps the kids busy and engaged for a very long time. Um, one of the best activities that he likes to do is just, you know, make little figurines and just blend the different colors. So it keeps them entertained, keeps them busy. It gives them the textile um, ability to be able to play with their hands and just feel those different um, textures. So it's really fun for the kids to do. And for us moms, it buys us some quiet time. So it's really beneficial for us too. So Santi is going to tell us um, the ingredients that we'll be using today. So first we have two cups of warm water. Two cups of flour, three quarters of salt, four teaspoons of cream of tartar, two tablespoons of coconut oil. Alright, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to heat up our pan over medium heat. We'll start adding all of the dry ingredients. So we'll start with the flour. You want to mix that up? So you want to blend the ingredients right now while they're dry. You want to make sure that everything is blended together and mixed in properly before you add the, um, the wet ingredients. Um, there are two ways of doing this. If you're making just one batch of color, which sometimes we do, you can just go ahead and add the food coloring to the two cups of water. But if you want to make um, a smaller batches with different colors, then you just leave the water as it is and make white Play-Doh. And after it's done, you can go ahead and add the colors, which is what we're going to be doing today. That way we can have four different colors of, of Play-Doh. And then um, you can add coconut oil. Um, most recipes call for vegetable oil, but I found that uh, coconut oil actually makes the Play-Doh softer and it seems to last a long, longer time when I use coconut oil. Yeah, so you want to let the coconut oil melt. And then once you start adding the water, what you're gonna need is a lot of elbow grease. You can add a little bit at a time, just while you mix it in. You'll know it's done once the Play-Doh starts to clump together. So you just do this until you see that the Play-Doh is actually getting kind of hard and more dough-like. You can see now, it's already clumping together becoming more like a solid mass. And that's pretty much when you know that your Play-Doh is done. It's really hard to so have, this is probably you want to do it yourself and allow the kids to join in after it cools off a little bit. But what you want to do once you get it out of the pan is that you want to knead it. Um, kneading it really well once you get it out is what's going to really make the Play-Doh very soft and it's going to allow it to stay um, soft longer. What you can do here is just divide it up into pieces so you can color the different spots. Just putting this up so we don't have Stained hands. Did you see like a splotch of yellow or whatever color this? Mm -hmm. You start uh, mixing in that that part so and start slowly spreading it around the dough so it can be actually like a full color. Mm -hmm. So you can do this, or you can actually put them inside a bag. And again, you can you can choose how much coloring you want to add. If you want them really bright colors or if you want them a little light, it's entirely up to you. So, since the bag is easier because you don't have to worry about staining your kitchen counter or your hands. And once you finish getting your Play-Doh, you want to store it in a tight seal, tightly sealed bag so that it doesn't dry out. You'll know when the Play-Doh is no longer good because it will start to dry out or it'll start to smell, but it won't happen for at least three weeks. So it will actually last for a very long time if you keep it safely sealed after the time. If you notice that your Play-Doh gets a little bit dry, all you can do is just add a little more coconut oil and you can actually revive it a little bit more. 
There you go. Anything else you want to add? Um, yes. If you want, uh, you can like mix these up and like have a different color if you want. So you don't have to do the recipe all over again. You can just like take a little bit and a different color, start mixing them together, and you'll have like one whole color. Alright. Well, there you go. Thank you so much for joining us today. Have a great day.